G'day tankers and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Sturmjager21 and today I've bought you a T29 replay. T29 is currently uh, my favourite tier 7 heavy tank. Um, can I say, it's got really good turret armour, really good gun. It's pretty speedy, well, for a heavy tank. Um, yeah, there's not much not to like. Um, as you'll have seen from the previous screen, you'll see my crew set up, my ammunition set up, and my equipment set up. Um, I'm about two thirds of the way to the T32. I uh, don't know if I'm going to move the crew on from the T29 because I really love this tank. Um, I may, depending if I like the T32. Um, yeah, just not sure what to do with this crew. If you have any ideas, um, put it down in the comments. Okay, so we're going down the right hand side of Ellenberg. Um, I don't like going down the left hand side, just there's not enough cover for me. I like, I like to go down the spots that have lots of cover. We get spotted. Um, probably by a T-44 which will pop up soon. As you can see, there haven't been many people that have come down this side. We just have a Hellcat and a T-34 for support. Um, we will end up on our own fairly shortly though. Now, I get spotted again, um, so what I did is I, I, was gonna, I moved up to try and spot them and maybe get a shot on them. The great thing about the T29 uh, is the turret arm is brilliant, so you can sort of risk popping your head up and trying to spot your enemy, because not only they can only shoot the turret, and the only thing that's really weak on the turret is the reset button on top. So there's the T44. We fire shot at him, but we miss. The bouncer shot from either the 3... is that a 3601? No, that's a 3001P. We fire again at the T-44, it's time to go in. Do a nice chunk of damage from him. Bell, Bell's progressing nicely in the middle of the moment. Um, that's where most of the action is happening. And it looks like there's a small skirmish over there on the left hand side. Now... I haven't got a lot of targets at the moment because they're managing to keep in cover at the moment. Then checking the map, I see there's a Pershing down there. Sorry, Super Pershing. Um, he fires at us. We bounce. Put a nice man into him. There's a Panther coming up to us on our left. 3601H has been taken out there. We fire and bounce a shot on the T-44. The relay is brilliant on this tank. Under 10 seconds. Fire another shot. Goes straight into the T-44. That Panther's um, gun pressure just isn't good enough to try to get a shot on us. Luckily for us. One of the biggest weaknesses of um, T29 is um, anything that's far, faster and more manoeuvrable than that. Getting around it and putting shots into our side. Two tanks said the same for any tank, many tanks. But just I find this one suffers more than some of the other T7 heavy tanks. So the T44 has been taken out by the T34. The Hellcat's been killed uh, a fair while ago. And, oh crap, I just noticed that the T28 prototype coming up to, sit, to fight us. Luckily, um, someone will put a couple of shots into him because we just cannot pin this guy for the nuts. No, it's just too the uh, 30. 
01D has taken out the TP4, but we finished him off. Unfortunately, we've taken a fair bit of damage. He did not mark us pointing his uh, go at him, sorry. So, but um, I found quite good in Mortal Tanks if you want him to stay off you, pointing you down at the enemy, sometimes it will take them back off. Even if you're not reloaded. Because they don't know that. Not all the time, anyway. We don't have enough time to get a shot of this car. T28 Proto's coming up. We didn't penetrate their armor. That's one tank I'm a little afraid of, because I don't... I don't know who fought me of them. And I don't know their weak spots very well. I know the cheeks of the turret are supposed to be very... We, we take him out. But I think I was more lucky than anything. Okay, um, try to fire uh, the Panther, but unfortunately he gets away too quickly. Um, pretty much all the threats on this side of the battlefield have been eliminated now. Um, Panther's only one left, so we're going to go for him. Especially since that T25-2 um, is running off. Uh, they're, just getting, they're just getting ambushed now. They're just, they're just going to be overwhelmed. That E25 player... Um, what was his name? Ex Kalen. He was uh, quite a good player. He did the best out of both teams in terms of damage. Um, I'll show you how much damage he actually did. He get he actually gets the uh, high caliber medal. Target acquired. Enemy armor. Oh, actually, I was pretty stuck with this game. Panther takes our tracks off in a second. We're we put another round into him though. One of our tracks is damaged. Track fixed. Let's roll. Let's see the great fire, fire compared to us. Panther, it's not bad. And I'm pretty sure that was the stock Panther too, which is he did he did okay just then. Well, anyway, this is pretty much the end of the game for me. Um, I want to get up to that. I want to get that E25 so I can make make it up to four kills and. Hopefully get the high camel medal, but I'm just not fast enough. I mean, we're going for 36 kilometers an hour, almost 40, and he's taken out by the Tiger too. Um, what could I do better in that game? I really couldn't say. I think um, I made the right choices in not attacking. If I had moved forward, I would have just got ambushed and killed pretty quickly. Okay, well, let's uh, check out the post-game stats. Well, as you can see, um, this was a mastery game, it doesn't display it here. Um, I got steel wool, um, unsurprisingly. W and 8 of 5,622, um, which is a Unicum. Um, that's just a good game, really. Um, 85,000 uh, credits. Um, top damage, 3 kills, 1,413 XP. You'll probably notice from the previous screen that I got 10 grand experience from this. X Callum, very good game, mate. Um, Three thousand one hundred fifty-two. Uh, sorry, four, four kills and one thousand two hundred forty-four XP. Okay, shots fired, thirteen hits, ten penetrations. Damage: two thousand eight hundred fifty-nine. Twenty-one hits received, thirteen non-penetrations. Um, blocked: three thousand six hundred fifty damage. Not bad. Detected. 1,503 damage, um, travel 1.44 kilometers, not too bad at all. Anyway, cheerio, have a good day.